Hello and welcome to Activating Greatness. I'm Nathan Crane, an award-winning author, documentary filmmaker, and health and wellness expert. And I'm Derek Crane, a certified personal trainer, health and fitness coach, and trainer of professional athletes. Each week, we broadcast new episodes with experts on life, health, fitness, business, and leadership to help you manifest the greatness that's already within you. Activating Greatness is about helping you live your life to your fullest potential and live with more meaning, purpose, health, and fulfillment. In this episode, we are diving into the science, history, and mysticism behind Ganoderma lucidum, otherwise known as Rishi or Lingji, also known as the king of herbs, aka the plant of longevity, aka aka the mushroom of immortality, aka 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 aka, AKA and the herb of spiritual potency. <laughs> So, the mushroom of immortality has been used in Chinese medicine for over 2,000 years. Not only has it been widely used for thousands of years, but it's also the most studied and well-documented medicinal herb on the planet. There's thousands of articles published about it, hundreds of studies done on it, dozens of clinical trials for anything from cancer and neurodegenerative disease to increased immunity, lowering blood pressure, you name it. It is an incredibly well-studied herb, uh, natural medicine, mushroom, whatever you want to call it. But what we want to share with you today are some of those studies as well as how to use it, how we take it, and how it can benefit you in your overall health and well-being. So for example, from one study from PubMed, 134 patients with advanced cancers of different sites supplemented with reishi capsules at a dosage of 1800 milligrams per day for 12 weeks. After that 12 week period, cellular immunity in 80% of the patients was significantly enhanced in terms of elevated plasma interleukin and interferon levels and natural killer cell activity. So as an immune modulator, like if you're talking about an attack going to to the body and then you take a natural substance without side effects that helps boost the immune system to fight it off. That's exactly what this study is showing, which just excites me. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. So there's so many reported benefits from so many people. I'm just gonna read and list off a whole bunch that, that we found. One is increasing immunity. Another is natural antioxidant properties. Another is lowering blood pressure, stimulating autophagy, which is, enables your cells of your body to survive stresses both internally and externally. It can protect against cancer, can reduce chronic inflammation, helps with focus and memory. We can all use that, mm -hmm. of course. Can reduce the risk of neurological diseases, improve heart health, protects the liver and kidneys, and improve gut health. So it's just a powerhouse. If you think about it, whether you're an athlete, or you're in your 60s or 70s, whether you're you know, a millennial or a baby boomer, doesn't matter. What's incredible about this is that it is supporting overall health and well-being um, in so many cases for so many people, helping recovery, helping energy, helping focus, helping improve the immune system, so many awesome things. Yeah, so true. One thing that it's rich in also is triterpenes. And terpenes in and of themselves have anti-inflammatory effects. So when we're talking about muscle recovery, we're hitting a hard workout and you're taking something into your body that is allowing the inflammation to already go down, it's exactly what is in this. We'll, we'll link to a, a number of studies that we found in the show notes below. So take a look at those if you wanna do some of your own research further, which we always recommend. Um, let's talk a little bit about the history. So. Uh, the old Chinese name of Lingji was first recorded during the Han Dynasty over 2,000 years ago. This stuff has been known for a long time, which is pretty cool. It's been widely used mostly by brewing teas or soups or broths, things like that. When people were getting sick or ill, they started brewing this and drinking it and realizing, wow, they feel so much better. They started recognizing and notating the effects that they were getting from it. Um, and moving to today, it's more primarily used, like as you were talking about in the study in capsules and powders, uh, we actually have, Derek got the big, huge mushroom, <laughs> and I've actually made tea from it. Um, I actually prefer the powder. 
um, over making the tea and, and that's how we take it. Now, mm-hmm. we currently take it through a company called Performance Tea. It's a product called Energy, the Energy Blend. We'll link to that as well. That's at our website, cranefactor.com. The Energy Blend has Rishi as the first ingredient. Comes in that powder form. Um, and the cool thing about this Energy Blend is that it's combined with nine other adaptogens. And if you don't really know what adaptogens are, make sure you watch our video at cranefactor.com all about adaptogens because you should be taking them every day. Some of those adaptogens in this energy blend in, include licorice root, astragalus, cotonopsis, genostemma, uh, and combined with green tea with other adaptogens for really boosting your immune system, helping you have more clarity and focus, more energy, and just feel better throughout the day. I love taking it on a daily basis. I'm actually training a professional boxer, and she's taking it on a daily basis and feeling the results of it. I've been training, I've been training this boxer for about two months now, and it's really, really cool to see that she's feeling the results of it, the natural energy of it. Without, She can even take it in the afternoon, and it doesn't affect her sleep. So yep. that, that's another really cool benefit about it. So rather than some really jacked up pre-work workout, like I think the new ones are like jacked up three, jacked up four <laughs> deep to the max. And like you take it and you're just like, nah, 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 like this allows your body to produce its own energy naturally, naturally elevating your own energy. So, and I take it, we both, we both take it on a daily basis. We're drinking right now in this <laughs> mug right here. By the way, you like our new mugs? Activating greatness, crane factor, pretty cool. Leave your comments, give a thumbs up if you like the new mugs. <laughs> I love the mugs. And as someone who's a huge believer in organic, non-GMO, highest quality, I really care what's being put into my system. So, And then also being able to promote it and recommend it to people at the gym that I manage, and then also my own clients, people that I train. This is of the highest quality, and I absolutely love taking it. So uh, going back a little bit more into the history, sorry, we got off on a tangent there. We obviously love this and want you to try it. I mean, that's very clear because we share things with you that we take ourselves and we feel will benefit you. But going back into the history, I found a quote from a famous Chinese doctor, which really kind of sums up the kind of uh, high regards that Rishi has been held in for a long time. This is purported to be written from 1596. And he said, Rishi positively affects the life energy or chi of the heart, repairing the chest area and benefiting those with a knotted and tight chest. Taken over a long period of time, the agility of the body will not cease and the years are lengthened. Now that's pretty cool to hear from a Chinese doctor, what, over 400 years ago. Um, And now the modern science is basically confirming that, right? Mm -hmm. Lowers blood pressure, which obviously is good for your heart. Um, uh, increases immunity, in, uh, modulates the immune system, antioxidant. All those things are known for longevity of life, right? So, uh, again, it's, you know, however they figured it out back then, they knew that this mushroom, this powerhouse medicinal herb had these incredible qualities. And now our scientists are basically just confirming and validating that, which is pretty awesome. Um Moving forward, how much should you take? How should you take it? Well, that's always up to you. You need to uh, determine for yourself what's the right amount without going overboard. We always like to start small and then build up over time. Uh, The cool thing that I really like about the Energy Blend is that it's already pre-mixed for you with the other adaptogens. So I've been taking Rishi on and off for over nine years now. um, And... I've taken large amounts, smaller amounts, taken it in coffees and teas, and now this energy blend, which so far is definitely my favorite. And this is a two gram scoop. Mm -hmm. And the two grams includes the other adaptogens as well. I think that's a great place to start um, because uh, there are servings up to nine grams and even more of just the Rishi itself. I don't really think you need that much, and I don't think you should ever start with that much. Starting with a gram or less is certainly a great place to start. Build up over time. Make sure you feel good with it. Make sure you um, are enjoying it. Make sure that you're not having side effects, things like that. 
um, again, as a natural herbal supplement. In all the studies that we've seen about side effects, it seems that there really are no side effects. But again, you know, if you have questions about it, you need to talk to your own doctor or whatever. We're not doctors. We're just experimenters that enjoy taking human health and, and uh, our potential to higher levels and sharing that with you. So again, listen to your body. But a great starting point would be like the two gram scoop mixed in with all the other adaptogens and the green tea in the energy blend. I think you're going to really enjoy it. I think you're going to benefit from it. No matter what you do, we definitely recommend start trying and adding in some reishi, some gonoderma lucidum, some mushroom of immortality, some king of the herbs, uh, you know, this amazing mushroom into your diet, um, into your health to help you experience higher levels of health and vitality. So true. And with natural herbs, make sure to be consistent with it. Starting at a lower dosage, so you may not notice the results just right off of the get-go, but then over time, you know, as you as you start at a lower dosage and start building it, then suddenly you'll start feeling those positive benefits. Yeah, usually a couple of weeks before most people start recognizing the benefits from herbs. Yeah. So be sure to check out cranefactor.com. The performance tea is there with the energy blend with ratio already in it. Be able to get your bottle today. Awesome. Salud. Salud. That's it for today's episode. Our hope and desire is that you get as much out of these interviews and episodes as we do. Each week, you can count on us being here to help you activate the greatness that's already within you. And we can all do that by continuing to develop and grow our minds, bodies, emotions, and connection to a higher purpose. Please make sure to share this with your friends on Facebook, iTunes, Twitter, and Instagram. Tag Crane Factor and use the hashtag activating greatness so we can continue growing this community together and changing the world for the better. Remember, you already have greatness within you. You just need to activate it. Thanks again, and we'll talk to you on the next episode.